గత ఎకాడమిక్ ఇయర్లో మనం ఎన్నడూ లేనంతగా మన ఆనరేబుల్ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ గారు వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఆల్మోస్ట్ అన్ని డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ కూడా సెమినార్స్ వర్క్షాప్స్ చేసి అనేక మంది విద్యార్థులకు ఎకాడమిక్ కల్చర్ని ఎకాడమిక్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ని క్రియేట్ చేయడం జరిగింది ఒక రెండు నెలల్లో దాదాపు ఒక ఇరవై ముప్పై సెమినార్ చేయడం జరిగింది అంతేకాకుండా విద్యార్థులకు సంబంధించినటువంటి రిలేటెడ్ రీసెర్చ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్తో లెక్చర్స్ కూడా ఏర్పాటు చేయడం జరిగింది వీటన్నిటినీ దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకొని నెక్స్ట్ ఎకాడమిక్ ఇయర్ అంటే ఈ విద్యా సంవత్సరం ప్రారంభం నుంచి మనం ఏర్పరచుకోవాల్సినటువంటి ప్రణాళికల్ని అది ఎకాడమిక్ పరంగా కావచ్చు ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ డెవలప్మెంట్ కావచ్చు లేదా టెక్నాలజికల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ కావచ్చు లేదా లైబ్రరీ కానీ కొలాబరేటివ్ యాక్టివిటీస్ కావచ్చు ఓవరాల్గా యూనివర్సిటీ అభివృద్ధి కోసం రెస్పెక్ట్ టు డిపార్ట్మెంటల్ అభివృద్ధి కోసం అటల్ టీచర్ల అభివృద్ధి కోసం అన్నిటి కోసం మనకు కావాల్సినటువంటి ఒక స్పష్టమైనటువంటి దీర్ఘకాలికమైనటువంటి ప్రణాళికను రూపొందించుకోవాల్సినటువంటి అవసరం ఉంటుంది అనే ఉద్దేశంతో ఈ సమావేశం ఏర్పాటు చేయడం జరిగింది ప్రధానంగా యూనివర్సిటీ సరగానే మనకు తెలిసిన విషయం ఏంటంటే బోధన పరిశోధన సామాజిక చింతన ఎంతో అవసరమైనటువంటి విషయం మనకు తెలుసు కేవలం డిగ్రీ కళాశాలలో అయితే కేవలం టీచింగ్ మనకి పరిమితం అయితే కానీ యూనివర్సిటీస్ అయితే తప్పకుండా రీసెర్చ్ చేయాలంటే అనేటువంటిది ప్రధానమైనటువంటి కార్యక్రమంగా ఉంటుంది అట్లాగే ఇంతో ప్రతిపాదన ఏముందంటే ఈ యొక్క చదివితే డే టు డే యాక్టివిటీస్లో పిల్లల్ని సరిగ్గా మానిటర్ చేసేటువంటి అవకాశం ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఒక మెంటల్ సిస్టమ్ని కూడా ఇంప్రూవ్ చేస్తే బాగుంటుంది అనేటువంటి అభిప్రాయం మాకు అనిపించింది మెంటల్ సిస్టమ్ చేయడం వల్ల ఏంటంటే ప్రతి డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో ముప్పై మంది విద్యార్థులు ఉంటే ఒకవేళ ఆ డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో పది మందిలో నలుగురు ఐదుగురు టీచర్లు ఉంటే రూల్ నెంబర్ వైజ్ కానీ లేదా అన్నోబెట్టి కలవాడు కానీ డివైడ్ చేసి ప్రతి టీచర్ ఒక ఐదుగురికో పది మందికి ఒక మెంటల్ ఉంటే మన యూనివర్సిటీకి వచ్చేటువంటి విద్యార్థులు అంతా కూడా ఫస్ట్ జనరేషన్ పీపుల్ రూరల్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ ఉన్నటువంటి పిల్లలు కాబట్టి వాళ్ళందరికీ ఒక గైడెన్స్ ఇవ్వడానికి కానీ వాళ్ళకు సంబంధించినటువంటి ఎకాడమిక్ ఇన్పుట్స్ ఇవ్వడానికి కానీ లేదా ఈ రోజుల్లో వచ్చేటువంటి మానసిక ఒత్తిడి అనేక మంది విద్యార్థులు కూడా ఏంటంటే సరి అయినటువంటి నిర్ణయాలు తీసుకోలేక నేను ఏ రకమైన జాబ్కు ఫిట్ కాగలుగుతున్నాం ఏ రకమైన పుస్తకాలు చదివితే బాగుంటుంది లేదా కుటుంబంలో ఉన్నటువంటి సమస్యలు తను చదువుతున్నట్టు తగ్గించి చదువుల మీద కేంద్రీకరింపజేస్తే బాగుంటుంది అనేటువంటి అభిప్రాయం ఉంటుంది వాటిని కూడా మనం నెక్స్ట్ డీస్ టెంపుల్లో పెట్టుకొని మనం కానీ అప్రూవ్ చేసుకోగలిగితే విద్యార్థుల అందరి పట్ల ప్రతి పది మంది టీచర్కి విద్యార్థులకు ఒక టీచర్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఉంటే పలానా డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో పలానా విద్యార్థికి ఏదైనా ఇష్యూ ఉంటే ఆ టీచర్ని కన్సల్ట్ చేయగలుగుతాడు యూనివర్సిటీస్ ప్రధానంగా ఈరోజు మన తెలంగాణ యూనివర్సిటీలు కాదు దేశవ్యాప్తంగా కానీ రాష్ట్ర వ్యాప్తంగా కానీ యూనివర్సిటీస్ నుంచి ప్రాథమిక పాఠశాలల వరకు ప్రభుత్వ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ అన్ని క్రెడిబిలిటీని కోల్పోతా ఉన్నటువంటి సందర్భం మనం చూస్తాం ఆ క్రెడిబిలిటీని కాపాడే బాధ్యత ప్రధానంగా యూనివర్సిటీస్ మీద ఉంది ఎందుకంటే యూనివర్సిటీస్ కనుక క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ చేయగలిగితే యూనివర్సిటీ కనుక పిల్లల్లో కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ నింపగలిగితే యూనివర్సిటీస్ కనుక పిల్లల్లో స్కిల్స్ను నైపుణ్యాలను నింపగలిగితే తప్పకుండా రాబోయే తెలంగాణ సమాజం చాలా అద్భుతంగా గొప్పగా ఉండేటువంటి అవకాశం ఉంటుందని నేను భావిస్తాను ఈ అవకాశం ఇచ్చి మీరందరూ కూడా ఈ యొక్క సమావేశంలో పాల్గొన్నందుకు మరోసారి కృతజ్ఞతలు తర్వాత సాధనను తెలియజేస్తూ నా వై రిక్వెస్ట్ ది హానరేబుల్ వై ఛాన్సలర్ టు అడ్రస్ దిస్ అగస్ట్ గ్యాదరింగ్ సో ఐ ఫీల్ ప్రివిలేజ్ టు బి హియర్ బికాస్ ఐ ఫీల్ దట్ యు ఆర్ ఎంబాసిడర్స్ అండ్ ఐకాన్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ తెలంగాణ యూనివర్సిటీ అండ్ యూ రిప్రజెంట్ ద ప్రెస్టీజ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ తెలంగాణ యూనివర్సిటీ ఫర్ విచ్ ఐ హ్యాపీ టు బి in charge of his answer. To be frank, I must admit, I have seen my career as an IAS officer, isn't it? Several years I was there in service, doing service in the districts, doing service at the headquarters, as HOD and also at government level. But I earned more reputation as vice chancellor of telangana university rather than as a officer in the combined state as well as in the telangana state i don't know how many of her present on 30th december when i address the entire faculty i think 60 to 70% of uh, all of you must be present isn't it ఎవరు లేదు ఒకసారి చెప్పారు థర్టీన్త్ డిసెంబర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ 
You won't play that. <laughs> Let us be true to our conscious. It doesn't matter. So it was first day. And uh, I think 60 to 70 percent of this gathering was there on the day. Maybe I forgot what I just on the day. So it was first day for me. But at the task of repetition, I may mention context in which we are available in the state of Telangana in the entire country from the brand. Context in the sense with regard to field of higher education. Where do we stand? Let us try to recollect the crossroads where we stand and where we have to you know, set our path and which direction we have to proceed as part of this strategy in your identity. In the beginning itself, I am thankful to the resistor, Professor Ibrahim Yaru, for his own hearted commitment. So he stood by me, when I went to Kelly Nation, he was with me. He always told me that, sir, I am there, whatever nation is okay, they are binding on me and let us implement an excuse for the nation to take together in the interest of student community as well as community. If today some of the academic uh, consultants, they must be also part of this gathering, isn't it? How many of you are there? Yeah. Today morning, I suddenly realized that uh, you all have to be invited for this conference. So we suddenly said this. Whatever I told you in my first address, what is the striking thing you remember with regard to higher education sector? What did I mention, anybody? Any specific context I mentioned about the higher education sector which is registered in your mind? Any professor, any principal, any dean, any associate professor, any assistant professor, any academic consultant? No Which I gave for research scholars. Is it it? You are there on the day? Okay. So he is admitting that the metal based PhDs. We are all Indians. We must be proud of our country. It is not that we belong to this country. This country was world leader for 16 centuries in the history. Related to the history, ancient colonial history, India was having the highest GDP in the entire world up to 16th century. And after it was invaded by the Britishers, Mongols, we had foreign rule and then we destroyed all the education system. For your recollections, we were a pioneer education center, particularly in higher education center. We must be proud of our Narada University, Texas University, and proud Asian countries, pupils will come and join in the university. So we have seen the glory of higher education center in the country, and after suffering, for more than two decades, under the foreign rule, we got independence, we concentrated on certain issues, we thought, which are relevant to the times. Let it be planning, let it be investment on irrigation projects. The higher education sector suffered Till 80s, 
there was no investment in higher education. In fact, in terms of investments, <coughs> if you talk about our higher plans, the sixth five-year plan was a major milestone. 2006 to 2011. Tenth five-year plan, the allocation which was made by the education sector was 4,000 crores. And eleventh plan, 2006 to 2011, it jumped to 47,000 crores. Such a huge jump has been made in sixth plan. There was liberalisation in 1991. Then there were so many changes in the entire world, and India is also exposed to uh, globalised world. That's why we are talking everything, every subject, everything in the global context because they are the globalised world, and this is what representing the total economic freedom. And this investment, given the changes. In the rural sector in our country, we are passing through exciting times. Our generation, we must feel fortunate that we are part of this generation, which is enjoying this exciting times of the history of mankind. The kick of mouse we can interact with the entire world. That is the. Of this world. So on the one hand, we have exciting times. We are calling it knowledge society. We have witnessed agricultural revolution, industrial revolution, so many other revolutions. But now we are passing through that stage, which has beaten all other you know, revolutions in the history of mankind. So on the one hand, we are passing through exciting times, and the entire world is showing opportunities to the young population in the entire world. On the other hand, we have an advantage. I mentioned that our since the youngest nation in the 25 years, 50% of population. If you take very very critical age. Teenage and young age, 10 to 19 years, it is 2.25 crores. Entire world is aging, including Japan, Europe, US, China. Every country is aging, and our country is going to harvest the population. We have young population, which is young, dynamic, productive, with lot of energy. But do these young people have ability to survive in the present-day world? Do they have sufficient employable skills, or do they have academic excellence so that they can take advantage of the next two, three decades, which are very, very critical for this country? That's where the importance of higher education. We have to discuss. We have to talk about it, and you are all part of a revolution that is taking place in our country. And really, whatever revolution we are visualizing, whatever academic excellence and employable skills, both are relevant for present-day youth. If we succeed, then we will be contributing to the. Not only the development of our state, but entire country, and this population, younger population, is going to be the work Indian or workforce for entire world. After 10 years, after 20 years, entire world, where are you, my young boys, young girls? Please come. We are waiting for all of you. What is your capability? Come on, we test your ability. We test your Skills, let it be communication, let it be leadership, let it be academic excellence. If you stand out, yes, we spend very much on people. 
that is the call of the 10 20 years entire world is going to give to this country. And what will we do? Is an issue. But we must realize at this point of time that uh, there was unplanned growth in the health education sector. There was no planning, only ad hoc questions, no one there, and we don't know where we are proceeding. There is no specific direction, there is no specific leadership for the higher education sector where to invest, what kind of direction to give to this sector, and how to take this forward so that we fulfill the requirements of the entire developed world so that our children will get a lot of opportunities in terms of employment, in terms of entrepreneurship. Somehow our education system is able to manufacture the degrees. Students they join, lectures will deliver, students will get the passive examination, they get the degree and they look for jobs. But no student has a mindset that he not only should receive job, he should generate jobs. That is called entrepreneurial character. And somehow our entire education system has failed to inculcate a spirit of entrepreneurship in the minds of our young population, which is a tragedy of this country. Because all said and done, if you analyze the entire history of our country, these are all the issues each department think from the angle of student and you have to prepare an academic calendar for this. When you prepare a calendar, please incorporate these items also. You will incorporate the seminars you are going to conduct, workshop you are going to conduct, what academic programs you are going to conduct, in addition to that, what is that student requires, you think of them. You want any training to the student in terms of you know, market requirements. Then think of that and incorporate in your calendar. Then give us proposal wherever possible we are willing to help you. What kinds of requirements are there for your student so that the student will go down this campus with some confidence and you will be able to avail the opportunities which are available outside this campus. Are you following what I am able to say? So this is the oral flavor and uh, I wanted to say so many things but uh, I don't know. I have written out so many points but uh, I lost it. Yeah. In terms of quantity, of course our friend mentioned about quality. That is about quality. But quantity wise, if you want to know the fact about our research, Indian brains constitute 70% of brain power in one university we should be proud to say yes, it is in first 50 universities. But entire world community will look at the ranking. Let it be some Shanghai ranking or Times ranking. Then look to ranking. What is the ranking of Indian universities in the world? Over. We find all over Asian universities. We find Singapore. So many. Some 10 universities in South Asia, they find place within 50. But somehow, even one Indian university we fail to you know, develop in such a manner that it, it attains. We could have invested at least, we could have selected 10 universities, made sufficient investment, made some intensive effort so that at least five ten universities they could be in the you know 50 or 100 so that India could be proud of those universities and the entire world would say okay India is also okay because some five of the Indian universities of higher education that is one parameter they follow and that's where we are lagging there. Nowadays they are not giving any value to our PhDs for information. PhD from India going to dustbin. <coughs> that kind of, uh, you know, scenario is in the world. I am recollecting, uh, <coughs> you know, ultimately, my favorite psychologist, Howard Gardner. 
so he talks of education he talks of developing five minds for the future there is a book five minds for the future his visualization as a psychologist there are three kinds of minds if you take it cognitively <coughs> one he calls it disciplinary mind that means developing some expertise in one area one subject you have to discipline your mind focus your mind on one subject one area and develop some expertise second mind is synthesizing mind you have developed interest in certain subject developing expertise when doing this there has to be a synthesizing mind that means there is lot of information relating to that subject isn't it but entire raw material you have to absorb comprehend analyze and you have to synthesize that information which is creative mind means it is out of box thinking we call it hyper thinking we call it lateral thinking but when does it arise there must be something in the box isn't it if there is something in the box then you can think out of box what is there in that box these two issues discipline mind and synthesizing mind if they are achieved then you have a box then you have a box in your mind then you can have out of box thinking they call it creative mind these are the three cognition one mind the fourth mind he calls it respectful mind what is that respect is referring to he is referring to respect for diverse you have certain opinion i have certain opinion you have certain way of thinking i have certain way of thinking there is a diversity of thinking but uh, you should not belittle his thinking that now it is inferior it is bad he is not thinking properly no you should tolerate you should accommodate if possible will you collaborate with him that means you are respecting his way of thinking when you respecting others way of thinking in the diversity that is called respecting mind the fifth mind is very very important and it is a you know basis of entire our future mind is ethical thinking that means you have to be responsible as a professional you are a teacher you be a responsible teacher feel your responsibility you have lot of rights okay but you have lot of responsibilities you have responsibility of teaching you have responsibility of research extension and also consultancy so do them professionally do them in such a manner that you have a self esteem so that is ethical thinking so these are the five future minds which are required for all of you in the higher education sector and three relate to your cognitive area that is related to your subject disciplinary mind synthesizing mind creative mind i do relate to your human nature that is respectful mind and ethical mind so these are the five minds for future years visualize down certain uh, issues which are relating to your practical world that is campus atmosphere all the time what are you doing now in the last six months you have seen me my approach in the university is to create such an academic atmosphere in that this is university this is not a you know field where there is a place for petty politics narrow thinking bothering about certain narrow things and who we are teaching coming which is also linked to attendance of students you must see it is your responsibility so that there is proper attendance you analyze 
challenge your students' mind why they are not attending. Sit with them, what do they want, what is their requirement, and you prepare in such a manner that you create interest. Let the student find utility in you. Unless you might do it properly, you must question and you must improve. The greatness of human beings that are open, they are open for improvement. Any individual, any human being from prison comes out with some you know, reforms and he starts serving the society. We have so many examples. Our nature is not frozen. We are open to change. Why not? We are human beings. We are one mind. We must be open to change. We must receive whatever is positive. Something is good, we must receive, we must respect and try to implement it. There has to be implement every day in our approach, in our working, in our performance, in our thinking. And don't feel that it's frozen. No. Every day you can change. You must be open to change. Some students may be talented. He's ready. He's ready. If some student is performing, not performing well, find out. And his way is not performing. Guide him, mentor him, try your best. You will exhaust your effort. Let us see what will happen. Let us leave it after making your effort. But let us exhaust our energy to improve the performance of students. If some student is having some specific talent, let us promote it, let us encourage it, let us guide him, let us mentor him and give them some direction. Make changes, customize the curriculum for our context, for our university, for the context of Telangana, customizing, make some changes in the curriculum. Universities are independent. They are supposed to make their own curriculums, which are required for your you know, society, your only so please take it positively. We are all one family. I am like my elder brother. Any problem anybody can come to me. Please discuss with me whether it is personal, administrative, it pertains to academic reforms, it pertains to making something. Please think of all these issues and any problem, anything, I welcome, I am always open. Whenever I come, anybody can come to me and approach me with their problems. Whatever is possible, in my hands, I will do my best. And then I feel, so as a symbol of sentiment, let us take oath today. We will take a oath feeling that it is our university and let us do something for this university and let us have a feeling of you know pride that we belong to Telangana University. Okay? I request all of you to stand. I will also take along with you both. Whatever I say, please. For my profession of teaching. And I will love my profession. I will endeavor to improve the performance of students. To be a higher plane. In all my actions. With my students, I will be with kindness and affection. I will endeavor to be a role model for my students. I will not put all my might for bringing glory. 
Telangana University. Ethical values, the campus environment, the intellectual capacity, the math and the presentation of the Vistul Yoran Unnarante, and the Gaura Unnarante, and the Parsa Sar and the Vistul Yoran Unnarante. We will cover the Vistul Yoran Unnarante. Prabhupta policy to budget television model to me. Starting in the 20th century, Prabhupta style in the 20th century, and the other college trends in the 20th century, starts in the Saha, elevation. At the time, the university of the 20th century, teachers of the contribution of the Matra, that are the modern universities of the Avatar, one of the middle of the year, the future of the century. But the other thing is, the university of the 20th century, नोटबुक में मेरा नोट जैसे उन तरह जो मानको लें, फिर एक ना मात्र हम अन्य जो मंदी, तुम जो ओपन जैसे रात में तो लोग पीटर जो प्रोफेसर प्रोफेसर सेवा दा, ये इंटर इंटेलेक्चुअल लेक्चर के लिए प्रसंग इंच नंदन को ना तरफ ना यूनिवर्सिटी तरफ ना प्रोजेक्ट नंदन लोग अभी नंदन लोग जहे� Okey, buku mana kita time sebenarnya jadi niat pas sama dengan prepare itu. Adr, Telangana, Rajasthan lo, ye university punya itu niat leh tu, okey usaha ni university punya dia ada malay reaccreditation pas sama itu. Ati mana pun niat pas sama ada different kerja itu jadi tu, anda pun dia tu nanti, kadang-kadang ni erga, dah ni sama macam ni nanti, SSR report tu ada sahaja kita dengar.